Me know about sardines, yeah. mackerel, yeah. bully beans, yeah. chicken foot, yeah. chicken neck, yeah. chicken back. Yeah. Nothing our waste, nothing our dash way. Go on, go on, what's great? Chef John Marks again, man, presenting to you. You know the thing going on. How to clean and season your fish for the various cooking methods. Now I have here five fishes. I'm going to be using these fishes. One is going to be for jerk fish, one for escovish, one for brown stew, one for steam, and one for roast. And we're going to stuff that with some callaloo. But this video party in particularly, I'm just going to show you how to clean and season your fish. And then in five separate videos, I'll show you the method of cooking for each fish. So stay tuned and watch what I go on. So now I purchased this fish at a local supermarket. I asked them to clean the fish for me. However, I told them to leave the tail on. Do not clip the tail off because when you clip the tail off of the fish, it just makes it look smaller. Right? And I like the look of the tail for presentation wise. So because sometimes they clip it too low like that. You don't want that. Well, that's for me at least. For those of my international friends who may be afraid of the head of the fish, this is how we actually have it in Jamaica, whole like that, right? So how to check for perfect fish? This video is going to be very detailed, so I'm going to show you how to check for perfect fish, right? Ensure that when, you're, when you go to the supermarket and you're choosing a fish, the eyes should be nice and bright. You see how nice and bright the eyes are? However, if the eyes look something like this, which is the back of the eyes, by the way, do not buy that fish. Chances are, it's going bad if the eyes look like this. Mine doesn't look like that, you know. The reason why this is like this is like I try to turn the eyeball over. So that's why I see. I'm just giving you an example. So once the eyes look bright like that, that's a perfect fish to get. Like that, you don't want that. That fish is going bad. Another way to check if you have good fish. You check to see if the skin of the fish is firm. If you try to pierce your finger in and it just burst, you know the fish is going bad. What the, the butcher does when you go there, you can ask them to clean the fish. But trust me, you're going to have to clean this when you get home because they never do a good job. I ask them to cut the fin off and stuff. They scale the fish but not that much, right? They said they got the fish as well. But as you can see, I still have a lot of stuff going on in the fish. So now I'm going to show you how to properly clean the fish. They need a knife and a scissors. When you're descaling the fish, you scale, you scrape towards the head of the fish. Because if you scrape like this, you're not going to get anything off. There, you see that? Just smooth. It's like you're, you're, you're patting down the scales. All right, listen. This, we have some scales here. Listen to that. Nothing is coming off. When you scrape towards the head now, you're getting all of the scales off. And look right there. How many scales there? Again, scrape towards the head. Ensure that when you reach these parts, you get the tip of your knife and you put it as close as possible to remove all of that scale. Work your way down to the head. Ensure to lift up the fin clean under it because you have scale all around. So I say you can ask your butcher to clean it for you but chances are they won't do a perfect job. I don't want any scale in your food. I know I don't. So I always go back over and look how much scale I'm getting off these fish right now. Right, we're at the head now. Right here at the gill you still have scale right here. You just hold it in screen and look. So these are fresh red snapper. I got these fresh Ensure that the entire work surface is clear of all dishes and stuff like that because I guarantee you, you're going to have a lot of scale flying all over the place. So that you have to bleach and sanitize that area properly so as to avoid flies. If you're not a fan of the fish head, you can buy kingfish which has like one big bone so you just locate that in the center and you remove it. Or you can buy fish that has already been filleted. Alright, on the inside of the fish, you want to scrape, get out these things from the bone. Okay, so now in the head part of the fish, you open that up and 
if you look here, you see like the gill side, like the tongue of the fish, the bone and stuff, you just remove that like that. Have the inside nice and clean. Clean your fish with fresh cold water. I'm gonna run about three slices across the belly of the fish, not too deep. Mix that around and do the same thing. Cut my tail because if, if the butcher had done it, he would have cut it like all the way down here. I don't want that. It's gonna clip it at the end right there. We still have some of the tail for presentation, right? So I put these slices in there. Two main reasons why I slice the fish like that. One, so I can get the excess season into the flesh of the, the fish and realize that it's not fully pierced through because you don't want to cut it all the way through to the belly. Then the fish is going to break up when you're frying or cooking it, right? As well as for when we're frying the fish, the fish doesn't curl up, it just stays flat by us putting those slices in the fish. If you have lemon or lime, you can go ahead and use it. I'm going to be using an orange and some vinegar to wash my fish. Alright, so squeeze the orange in the gut of the fish. Just use that. Wash and scrub it to cut away as much of the rawness as possible. Go over to the head and scrub the entire body of the fish with the lime, lemon, or orange. Just rinse it off with some ice cold water. You're gonna get a paper towel or if you have a nice clean rag that doesn't shred the fabric, you can use that to pat dry your fish. So we pat dry our fish, get out that excess water, open it up, pat dry the inside just the same, it's nice and dry. Alright so now for the seasoning for the fish, I'm going to go in with all purpose seasoning, black pepper, onion powder and garlic powder. I'll leave in the description box down below the quantity needed to season your fish. Just gonna mix that all together. Alright, so we're gonna season our fish now. We're gonna start from the inside. So just open that up, sprinkle that seasoning. And be generous with it. Because you want this fish to be flavorful right through. Careful because there's there are bones in it. So rub that in. All the way in the head part of the fish. But the outside of the fish now, you get those slices, you drizzle some of that in there, all over. Rub that in. Flip that around and repeat. Spread that over. Mop up all of that. And I'm going to repeat this process for all five. And there you have it. That's how you clean and season your fish for cooking. Just a look again. On the inside, fully seasoned. And on the outside, fully seasoned. So stay tuned for the videos on how to prepare your fish in the various methods. Just gonna put these in our fridge and let them chill. Before you're about to cook your fish, just take them out the fridge and put them out on your counter and let them rest for about 10 to 15 minutes to reach up to room temperature because that's the best way to cook your fish so that it cooks evenly and the inside doesn't get raw and then you dry out the fish. Until next time, safe travel on the gravel and go on big up on yourself. Thanks again and a dinner for later. But know you fast girl, you have to tell me Cause I know any, any man can feed you So that's why I always take me to the kitchen Yeah, yeah, yeah